and welcome back here to the Predator WPA World Championships here in Klagenfurt, Austria. Today is the finals day here on table one, starting with 10 ball, girls division, match between defending champion from Chinese Taipei, Shi Yung Ong, and Sofia Mas from the USA. In the booth, Eric Arlifson from Canada and myself, Benjamin Berhassen. This is a race to six, winner breaks, WPA rules. Hi, Eric. Hey, good to be with you guys again. It's going to be a good match, right down to the best two players in the tournament, pretty much. Mast has been dominant throughout the course of the tournament. She's won three matches 6-2, including a win over Hong in the winner's qualification match. Uh, she also has a 6 nothing win. Hong's been pretty dominant, except for the, her match against Mast. A uh, couple 6 nothing wins, 6 nothing in the semifinals, so we're in for a good match here today. Mast is coming in at a 606 Fargo. Hung is unrated. I commentated one of her other matches earlier. She's a strong player. I expect a close match here. Yeah, and what a day we have today with all the finals of all divisions, which means girls right now, and then we'll have the under 19, the under 17, the women's, and finally the men's eight ball. So it's gonna be a, a great day of pool today. The American Juniors are showing up in the junior event. We have a girl in the final of the girls' division. We have two boys in the final of the uh, one in the other divisions, the under 17. Our pardon me, Prasad is in the final of the under 17 boys. And of course, one boning in the men's end ball. So yeah. we'll be chasing a first eight ball title. I mean, world title. Scratch directly on the side off the first break, so Mast will have an open chance here. Rack's looking pretty open. Five might be tied up at the seven. Very close to pocketing past it. She'll be able to play over to the short side if she has to. Yeah, remember it's a race to six and it's WPA rules. That means no early tens. If the, uh, the 10 ball is pocketed in during the rack through a combination, then it will be respotted. First four balls are pretty straightforward here, but she got a little too much angle here where she's gonna have to draw out two rails instead of drawing straight back. She's taking a big extension here to be able to, to reach the two and get a good draw stroke, or, may or maybe she'll follow to rest. Yeah, rest. follow works yeah. as well. Following three rails here. Yeah. Nicely done. Got Stay. straight enough that she can hold it. Gonna have some angle on the four. If she's not, if the five doesn't pocket in the pocket past the seven, she will be able to carry him it as well. Control the five will be tougher in that case. Looks like she'll have to go with the carom here. Can't really get over to the right side of the table for the five. Yeah. Really depends if the five, I don't think the five does pass the seven on the, the top right, so. I have a feeling it doesn't. Carom will be available, but you're gonna be kind of pushing the five towards yeah. the six or the angle of the, that the six is on to pocket the five in the corner. So we'll see how she manages this. She will be able to hit a five in the w in a way that will open it up, but the cue ball is going to kind of stick near the seven. Oh, it went. Camera angles are deceiving sometimes, so good out there. She's in line right now. Big draw stroke here. hit gonna come up with a little too much angle on the seven but I feel like she'll stay offense here gonna be a little tough to control the cue ball because she's very thin on the seven yeah maybe go back and forth remember there is only 
one girls division here and uh, might be an under 19 division so a, l a lot of girls will be playing this tough shot yeah kind of got away with it though good effort on the run out there got down to the seven gave her chance gave herself a chance to run all the way out i think she hit the ball first instead of Making a good contact between the rails and the ball, so she hit it too thick. Look for Hong to use the nine to play the cue ball safe here. Watch a right spin, swing it over to the right. Even if she doesn't get the snooker here, she she kind of play a, a container. Light on the speed. A little thick. She has two choices. She could cross bank the seven and take the eight in the side or power the seven into the side pocket directly and take the cue ball three rails over to the same side of the table that it's on right now. There is a defensive play where you could back off and try to play the cue ball behind the nine as well. Yeah. Both offensive shots are tough. Yeah, it's a, it's a speed shot, I guess. If she decided to go for the defense, then she might be aware of the of the speed here to send. Yeah, uh, that's too hard. I mean, she went after it. Yeah, her choice. Nothing wrong with trying to assert yourself at the beginning of the match. Hit it too thick, but try to build some kind of a lead here. She will be breaking the next game, so. Kill stroke here for Hong, trying to stay on the same side of the table. Nice hit, tougher than it looks, that shot. She's coached and mentored by Che Yu Cho. A lot of top players in Taiwan, a lot of players that she can learn off of. Yeah, true. Mast is from the Florida area. Plays in open women's events. She won the Texas Nine Ball Women's Division. She has a top 24 finish in a Predator Pro Series. Yeah, pretty much already experienced player. Sure. And it's really good for the spot to be experienced at that age. Keep things growing. She's got to avoid the side here, and she did well. Straight in on the 10. Great. Strong finish from Hong in this rack. Takes the lead one nothing. Yeah, actually you were right. The the killed shot the she she stopped with on the seven wasn't a gimme. Made it e made it look easy, but it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, a little too much angle. Killed the cue ball nice and low, stayed in perfect line for the eight. Or for the seven, pardon me. Both players had a good start. I felt like Mast was really motivated to go for the run here. Should be breaking next. Such a great opportunity for players of that age to be able to compete in such arenas and uh, set up because the once you get used to it and you win like junior world titles, then you believe in yourself and you think you can do more and go to win big big events when you get adult. I mean, definitely you carry that experience with you. They're playing on the, the exact same conditions that all the all the open players are playing under. Yeah, so that means a lot when you're when you're used to victory. Then I mean, in Europe we. We pretty much have all the top players that pass through the, the juniors programs, you know. Mm -hmm. Fedo Gorst and... Uh, Josh Filler. Yeah, Sanchez Ruiz. They, they've all won, uh, I mean, a World Nine Ball Juniors title. The juniors always compete with the open players in regular Euro Tour events or European Championships for sure. Yeah. Rack's looking okay here. Gonna be 
a bit of movement from the four to the five, and the seven yeah, is kind of in the way of the most natural track to get towards the five. She definitely wants to see if she can reach it without the bridge. Yeah, got to kind of draw the cue ball towards the two, so ideally you wouldn't want to be using the bridge, but she can't reach it, so she's going to try to draw out here. Typ okay. Typical with the bridge, you kind of underdraw the ball a little yeah. bit. Another kill shot hold here. She might, she might run into the, choose to run into the ten. She yeah. might have to, yeah. Looks like there could be a space between the three ten. Yeah, to go she's around. using a little bit of a high ball, so okay. Power draw. Out. Did she get there? Not quite. Yeah, just had a little too much angle on the two, or she couldn't hold it. And Few she, decisions. Yeah, maybe up. she was afraid to go into the ten, so. Mm -hmm. As long as you avoid the double kiss here, you can bank the three up table and use the 9-10 as blockers coming across. I like using a little bit of left. Yeah, because the, the double kiss is big here. Caught, oh, almost caught it. Uh, yeah, she got away with it. Good shot here, I mean. Left mass the left edge. And mass will be looking to play the cue ball back behind the 9-10 again. Gonna need some left spin on this. Track the cue ball, to, or track the three ball towards the 6-8. Shot there. And she nudged the six and uh, allowing her to to send the table right in the middle of the short rail, which is a good point here. Yeah, over top of the nine too, which makes the overall execution tougher. And that's why maybe I don't know if yeah, she might see the the right at the edge of the three, but bridging above the nine is really an issue here. Yeah. That's why she might have been going to the rails, try to kick and stick here and send the, the three ball towards the five. Trying to swerve a little bit while you're over top of a ball. Tough shot. So Mast has a good open look here. Bit of movement from the four to the five. Six only goes in the same pocket as the five, so she'll have to negotiate that, but all manageable if she gets the right angles. Remember, we are playing under 30 seconds shot clock here. with an extension per rack, per player. It's a good experience for those girls to, to be able to play also in the shot clock, which puts a little bit more pressure on you. She might not have the right angle here to go, t yeah. Yeah, she's okay. Gonna have to play a stun instead of a natural, but it, you can it across it's actually pretty straight yeah the thing is when you play stun you don't want to to come across table above the eight easy to do though yeah it's hard to control stun but she's gonna have to try it here decent hit but it's so hard to control that exactly yeah might have enough of the pocket here to make the six if not she can play an offensive bank. Or she can thin the the six, send it towards the side rail and leave the cue ball behind the seven. I like I mean, that as well. Yeah, It's much more conservative. I like the, the defense more playing 10 ball because of the cold shots. You are really favorite to to get good results playing safeties. Looks like she barely has enough of the pocket yeah, here. Cue looks ball's like traveling heavily left. Couldn't hold it. I yeah. think she was trying to play off the right side left side of the eight. Yeah, true. If she has the yet. left edge of the seven, she can get safe. Just cut the seven thinly. Depends if she has enough of it. No, she's looking at the two rail kick here. Seven balls, like Called it on the side in case. And then she will create distance between the balls, which is a good thing. Mm. Caught half the ball, but left the seven over the pocket. Yeah. Eight's over the pocket as well, but she left her pretty straight. And actually, she create distance, at least, which, uh, which was good. But you never want to let the the object ball like hanging. Might have to power draw right out of the angle here. Yeah. Actually, not many options here. Oh, 
Yeah, it's yes. really tough to do. You need a lot of power. Actually, she she has a shot on the eight, but still, the nine ball doesn't pass the ten, so she might have to go all the way up table for the nine on the side, maybe. Just roll it. She can. This is all pocketing here. Position's natural. Just got to focus on the pocketing. Pretty straight in shot there. Got Good it. shot, yeah. Good shot there. You will could be running into the 10, but even if it does hit it, I think good things can happen most of the time. Yeah, but she has to play rolling like soft speed, so I don't think she will run into the 10 if she makes the 9, but she might have a little cut on the 10 if she makes it. Yeah, like that. Still okay. Mass is looking okay, just a couple half mistakes. Hong's taking advantage in the first couple racks here. Yeah, I think the, the five ball was huge because she hit it pretty good, but she had to stun it. And maybe she was afraid to go behind the eight. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't a gimme there. It's pretty short race, so Hong is already two up two nil, so. Yeah, like, quick. like we were saying earlier, Mass did beat her in the winner's side qualification round. Yeah. So she's capable of beating her. from Chinese Taipei over there. And we are having on the on the other table on table two the finals of the under 17 division and Adrian Prezad is leading Asako Siriotus Derin 2 to 1 is from the USA and Asako is from Indonesia so pretty much of an uh, international field everywhere here in all divisions Cut the break, try to make the one on the side. Almost got it. Nothing down though. Looks like the one can pass the six and the two is very close past the six as well. I feel like they both might go though. Yeah, she might have to draw off the one to get position on the two, otherwise she would run into the six, I guess. She would run into the two, I'm sorry. So yeah, maybe she can just push the two towards the top left but you have to hold the cue ball here so it's it's not easy oh she one might not have gone yeah those angles are close tried to play the cue ball behind the six there didn't focus on the one as much was it which is okay i mean it's okay to go all in with the cue ball sometimes just didn't get the cue ball where she wanted yeah she could have also done the other way around meaning only taking care about the one ball, try to play some kind of a containing in the middle of the short rail. Yeah. Actually, she got a, the 50 yard line here because the one ball didn't get to the, to the middle of the short rail and she didn't hide the cue ball behind the six. Good shot there. Had to play a fair bit of right spin on that, <coughs> manage that well. Gonna go combo here. Yeah, the two ball is going to go towards the side rail, so is the cue ball, so she might have a shot on the two if she makes the six, which is tough. This cue ball is pretty far of the two, and uh, the six is pretty far of the pocket, so it's not going to be an easy combination, but yeah. Tough. Any kind of combo, it's always underrated tough, especially at yeah. distance. True. So again, Master has an opportunity at the table here. Got still work to do from the four to the five, though. She 
He's had the first opening in the first three racks. Just a matter of taking advantage. She has the right angle on the three to go to the four, but then I think the four passes the side, but still she she have to have the right angle on the five to go to the six. The six is a big ball, though. Yeah. Rack's going to hinge on getting well on the five here. I think she's got it. She could go out of the short rail to reach the five. She has to decide whether she's going to make the five on the top, on the top right or on the side. Yeah, I like trying to just get close to the five here. If you get perfect on the side, nothing wrong with going side. It yeah. It's a little off angle. You can take the corner. True. This is not to worry about. You only have to worry about being close to the five, just like she did. I think she's perfect. Yeah, it's a good angle just to draw out to the left. Could even go corner as well still if she doesn't yeah. like the side. But she has to make the choice. That's the point. If she makes it to the corner, then she had to kind of a stun follow here and to get in between the seven, eight, in right in the middle of the table. So, or she can use she can use the left English also to go above the the eight. It's really personal preference, yeah. Yeah, she stunned it. Actually, I like that because you have to let the stroke out a little bit, which is a good point. Yeah, avoiding spin on a on a shot that's a little bit tougher is always a good play. She's going to want to come two rails into the angle here. Above the nine ball, in between the nine ball and the side pocket. Oh, she's going one rail. Just went one. That's dangerous in the long run. I understand there's a lot of room over there and there's a lot of angle she could have got, but yeah. I think in the long run, favoring the side rail and back into the angle is going to help her a little bit. Yeah, sometimes you would choose to go like she did because the table is really fast and you don't have much work to do, but I agree it's always better to come from the side rails. Catching those lines into the angles. Has an angle to come three rails around here. Gonna want to play over to the third rail. Ideally getting pretty straight on the nine and drawing up the same rail. It's a little hard. Yeah. Still available, just bigger cut angle than what she would have liked. She's made a couple half mistakes in the first couple racks, so. Yeah, and this really is not, I tell you what, this is not easy. I mean, you have to cross the table twice using a kind of a, a stun shot here, which makes the contact on the nine ball a little bit more precise. Yeah, she did nice it well, shot. but st still she'll have a long shot on the 10. Well, early pressure spot for Mast here. Can see taking, her taking a deep a breath. breath. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Try to reset, relax, and let the stroke out. Good pre-shot preparation here. Checking yeah. out the contact angle, back to the pocketing angle. Down Santa the ball. That, that's, that's great pre-shot routine yeah. there. Did what, did what she had to do to pocket that ball, kept her nerves calm. Nice rack from Mast. Yeah. She stayed down really nice on that last nine ball. It's always make the balls easier when you stay down and don't move your body or your head or drop your elbow and try to keep some kind of a, try to stay compact, but without damaging the quality of your stroke. And that's, that's what it is all about. If you see the process she used there, you can tell she's been trained properly. Either that or, or she's done the work on her own to develop her own proper process. I yeah. mean, it's not like she just, you know, had a tough shot and kind of said, oh, I'm going to just go at it and try to make it. There was a process behind it, settled herself to try and make the shot and execute it. Mr. Here is the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Always here to witness some pool. Promoter of this event, I'm assuming former winner of the World Women's World Junior Nine Ball Championships. She's won it on an, on the open level. Actually, she's one of the pioneers of the 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 level went so the reasons why the level went so high in Austria with all top players like her, also like Max Lechner, like his, her brother. She's bi she's a big part in all that. Scratch the cue ball here. 
Tough to tell whether nine passes the ten. I have a feeling it does. Hong already took a look at that. Yeah, the reason why the cue ball went to the the bottom right was she she hit it with l left spin. So when it hit the hits the rail, instead of coming to the center of the table, it goes below the rack. Yeah, below the rack. quite sure about this because the four led into the five anyways. The five is far from the six. Yeah. I think she just wants to kind of come up the far side of the table, but that's yeah. the problem. She lost the two ball here, so she might have might have to play a safety here. Cutting the two and uses the, the four, seven, nine, ten as blockers. Yeah, big wall there in the middle of the table. She's going to play into that. Good shot there. Might over hit the speed. Uh, got there. I mean, she really wanted to go on that line behind the 10. Big uh, swerve here to get into the short rail, but I feel like she'll favor it. It's the easiest rail to kick off of. Yeah, plus she, if she sticks there, she would create distance between the... Oh, I think she's elevated a little too much, but... Yeah. And a rail? No rail, look at this. Yeah. Ooh, tough no rail there. <laughs> she's on two fouls now. Oh yeah, she's she scratched off the, the break, break as well. well. This is an information Hong has to be aware of. Table's open enough that I think she, unless she gets in trouble, she won't try to play the third safe. Three yeah. lates nicely into the four. Going to be some work to do from the four to the six. But yeah, she can run the she can run the rack. And the reason why she didn't she cut the two ball so thin, uh, I mean on the on the swerve was that she elevated too much, and so the cue ball went way too far to the right side before coming up to the left side. Mm -hmm. She didn't have to elevate that much on that type of shots, but. she gets here on the four it's a decent following angle yeah she could she could cinch it a little bit and play the six in the long pocket or she could get more aggressive and play down to the short pocket i think long pocket's okay here yeah. so she doesn't have to do much with the position from the six to the seven yeah she looks f a little bit flat here it's hard to it's hard to see from there but good job yeah that's good one last good pot here on the six almost positive the nine passes the ten yeah the eight ball is going to be coming back two rails into that position, two rails into the angle. I'm surprised she's not trying to stop the cue ball here. Ooh, I think she was straight enough to stop it. But yeah. Sometimes uh, those shots are visual traps because you think you have angles and you almost trade in on the shot so you want to exaggerate the angle and the angle was there actually to, to kill the, the cue ball so I think she hit it way too hard and she didn't hold her nerves on this shot. So big chance for Mass to get back even here. Too much angle on the seven, but she can draw out of it. Yeah, she hit a little too thick here, but still okay. I mean, big stroke here. Mm -hmm. If she wants to go to the side rail using low left. Good shot there. I see it. See most of these junior players playing with carbon cues. I think that's going to be the way of the future. Yeah. Even most of the older players from Taiwan still have been switched over to carbon, but the younger players, you know, starting from no experience with wood, I think you're going to you're going to see more of a trend of that going forward. So 
Stunned it a little too much. Got a hold here. Tough now. Yeah. Still looking at going after it. Cue ball's going to be really loose. Yeah, and that's a hell of a cut here. Maybe she's going to go four rails. She could go four rails. It's kind of tracking into a scratch in the upper right corner pocket, but she'll know how to avoid that. There's not really much save. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean... Yeah, the only save I will see is try to to hit the the nine ball half ball using the ten ball to to send it one rail towards the short the short rail and send yeah just maybe like that she but did she did it by accident yeah. but caught a double kiss on the ten yeah that was the shot I was talking about to try to send the cue ball up table leaving the nine ball in the middle of the short rail but tough for Mass so far. I don't feel like she's making bad mistakes. She's just getting a little out of line yeah. and, and just not, you know, having a couple tough executions and not quite getting it. So this for a 3-1 league for Hong. really tries to to stay composed and all her nerves this is really great to witness though you, those young girls battling you can see the nerves in her face right but yeah. she's dealing with it she's <laughs> yeah. playing well we're gonna take a quick break here we'll be right back Champions. And here are the medals for all the world champions and runner-up and third place. Great event here in Klagenfurt, Austria. Five world championships. Men's eight ball, women's ten ball, and then we have three divisions in the juniors, under 19, under 17, and girls. Mass is just taking a quick break here. Yeah, she has been struggling a bit. Didn't big, didn't hit big mistakes, but I mean, a couple of out of lines, and then all of a sudden in three one, Hong is out of the way. So yeah, just stuck on the score line. No, she's going to have to play a good match going forward to to win the match. So just taking a little break to reset here. Opportunity for us to talk about our sponsors and partners for this event. Predator Group, Richtwecht, Billiard Sport Academy, Yes Minution, and Kamui Brand. And also, of course, the local support of Klagenfurt Tourism and the region of Carentia. The event is played on Predator Apex 9 feet table. 
with Predator Arena Lights, Reserve Cloth, Arcos 2 Bows and Predator Aerial Rex. Referees have done a great job this week. Yeah, they're all from EPBF, the European Packet Beaded Federation. There's Brittany Bryant, former Women's World Junior Champion, along with fellow Canadian Veronique Menard. Bryant played in the Open Division this year. Won a couple rounds, but fell just short of the redraw stage two. She actually raised a, a bunch of money for Canadian juniors to come over here in, in memorial of her father that passed away this year. Pretty much funded 80% of the trip for the juniors over here. Did a lot of work. Can be a great ambassador mm -hmm. for the game going forward in Canada. That's great. Um, It's all love and passion for the game, building the the things for the ge the next generations. I mean, that's great. Here comes Mass back to the arena. Believe it'll be Hong to break in this rack. It's great to see also how they can manage the timeout already at this young age, you know, to try to reset and uh, they are already athletes, I mean. Sure. It's the new generation of players. These players are going to be, have a long life of billiards ahead of them and going to be a new level of game going forward. Predators <laughs> leading the way in that charge. Didn't get a shot on the one here, so it's definitely going to be a push. Can't jump. No kick safe options. Shooting for distance would be the first thought here. Yeah, I mean, it's always tricky situ situations when you, when you have to, to push and the one is wide in the open. Yeah. Pushing for distance was going to leave the top left corner pocket, so she's going to push down by this corner. I like this play. Eight ball's big here, though. She'll be yeah. probably looking to target the cue ball behind the eight. At least you could have tried to to freeze the cue ball on one of the one of the rails here, the side, or even the the short rail to make it tougher for Hong. It's definitely a general stra good strategy when you're pushing, take away being able to spin the ball or draw the ball. This one's a little too open where it's easier to manip manipulate the cue ball. Yeah, she's comfortable here to, to cue it. So There's also the bank. We missed that. Good shot. I mean, it's it's an all-in shot, but pretty much an aggressive do-or-die shot, but still. It was fairly it was fairly straight in, so she figured the, the risk of going for it was worth it and made it. Good shot. So big chance here for Hong to open up a big lead in the final. <laughs> Choice here of going to the corner with the three or playing the combo. I don't mind the combo because the angles getting on the three in the corner are going to run into the seven with the cue ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit touchy for the cue ball to try to reach the, the three ball to pocket it on the on the bottom right because the, the combination is leading the three ball to the, to the corner pocket. She had a little too much angle, angle here though, but She'll travel the cue ball up table a little bit. Shot, controlled the three well. Jump for the nine, she's okay though. Gonna favor the corner here just to minimize the cue ball movement. Yeah, stun it back from the side rail. Leave herself an angle on the four to reach the five. Yeah, she's going for the side, which I think is, is tougher for the cue ball, and uh, yes. she wanted to maximize her chance to make the three, actually, but... It's a preference play. You're never going to miss the three if you go on the side, but the cue ball is going to end up like this more often if you're moving yeah. the cue ball more. That's why I think that uh, the choice was better to try to make the cue ball travel less. I like it, too. 
Still, she has a sharp, long one though. But nice draw. Cue ball's tracking to the right here, which is a bit of a problem because the nine can cover a lot of angles going to the right. She could load it up with left, but I think she'll just hmm, kind of in between here. Yeah, she can. It is straight enough that she can play a bunch of left on it. Oh no, she's going back to the middle. Maybe using the nine also. Yeah, she could. Weird. She, I, she must have played backhand English there because she queued up left, went to the center, and then hit left again. Good shot, though. Perfectly in line here. Yeah, difficult to reach, though. Uh, she's going to have to use her extension, I believe, or the bridge. Um, most of the pool players don't like to use the bridge. It's much more like a, a snooker affair, but... She got away with it. I think she's a little thin of the eight, but still have a shot here to go for the run. If she can slow the cue ball down with a bunch of right going two rails, she will. Tough to tell. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she did. Nice, nice play. A lot of feel involved in that shot. Still have a little bit of work to do, though. Cinching play is to draw the cue ball slo softly to the right and play the 10 in the long pocket. Aggressive yeah. play is to go around three rails, play the 10 in the short pocket. Which makes it up a little bit tougher because you have to use stun and inside. But Does she have a natural just before the corner pocket? That would work as well. Yeah, just roll the ball and take a shot at the 10 on the top left. Good shot there. I yeah, mean, read the natural good. Thought it was more into a scratch, but that was a good yeah. play. That was touchy. Caught mm. the rail on the way in, but the speed helped her there. So big shot here for a three-game lead. I'd like to put a little bit, just a hair of uh, of left here to to catch that gearing English, so that you don't you don't uh, get the throw involved in it. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. Watch out for the cue ball. It's close. Wow. <laughs> Strong run out there from Hong, running all the way out from Mass Push. Definitely had work to do and started with a bank. Yeah, nice run out from there. It's going to be a Quick break here and we'll be right back. Beautiful area here in Klagenfurt. We just saw it, the, the support of the region of Carinthia here. Lake and mountains. And square hit from Mass here. She came up with a dry break, but. Yeah, almost made the one. Good movement with the overall rack. Just didn't get one. The one, I believe the one pockets. Yeah, with the bridge, yeah. Because it's, it's really difficult to reach from there. Cue ball's coming back up table where she needs it. Tough to control the exact position of it to get on the two. Yeah, especially Money. using the bridge to cue. Slow roll at one rail. Thicker though. Tough shot. Yeah, I mean. Gonna get cover here. Possible window. It's close. Yeah, it's no. close, yeah. Mass had a quick look at it. She knows she has to jump it. See how she manipulates the the cue ball with the jump cue, because the 
I don't mind trying to just run into the seven. Yeah. Just kind of stop the cue ball on that side of the table. Tough to control exactly. Strong jumping bridge here. Yeah, it's just got too wide on it. Yeah. I think the seven, so it's a false shot there. And Hung would have the opportunity to extend our lead. One, two, three are pretty much, the three to the four will be uh, maybe an issue here. Good call by the ref there, barely contacting the seven first. Kind of getting on the three properly is a bit of a key to the rack. I don't mind following it across the table instead of drawing it across. She's going to play it at the two in the side. It's a good play as well. Yeah, try to be straight on the two to follow to follow the cue ball to the side rail for the three. That was a smart shot. Then she need like one ball or two balls maximum of angle from the three to go to the four. Then she'll have to deal with the six. Oh, I don't think it's enough, but maybe she, re she can run into the six I don't think the six passes the ten. So, yes, that would be a good play. Open up the six a little bit. She could play the six ten combination also, but yeah, she played around it. I actually like trying to move it there, unless the pocket straight in. I mean, the left part of the pocket, the right part of the pocket. Could be available. Yeah. But look at what happened in the cue ball here. She lost the cue ball too. She had too much angle. Yeah. I mean, she only needed like one ball of angle of that side rail to go to the four. So. Extension. Tough shot here running into the nine. She wants to make sure she hit the low side of the nine to go to the five. Maybe she opens up the nine on this, on the side pocket also. Shot there. Yeah. She went too. She went maybe too aggressive on this. I expect on her to to roll a little bit softer in that ball, but she might have to play safe here because there are no open pockets for the five. Yeah, you could try to play the five over by the six, and the cue ball over by the nine. Yeah. I think she's gonna go aggressive in, into the side pocket though. Oh, that's a good shot. A kind of a containing. Caught a window, though. Yeah. Mass, have to, Mass might have to take a shot at the bank here. And she's going to take a big shot in the match here. Yeah, because she might have to elevate to try to stiff that five ball into the side pocket. Mm -hmm. It's tracking a little, little long. Yeah. And it's never easy to, like, elevate and play the bank shot. It's... Sometimes you kind of lose of the of the accuracy here. Just going for it. Yeah, elevating. Try to stiff it. Showing a good shot. Bingo. Here. Showing the bank skills here. That gets her back in the match. Fortunately, didn't land that great on the six, but it yeah, was, she's in a better spot than she was one shot ago. Really depends if you wanna if you wanna go the defense or wanna try to make to cut the six ball here. Just and use the ten as a blocker. Yeah, yeah. that Didn't was quite get it. Though. Yeah, that was tough. I mean, that was really a touchy shot using the bridge and try to, to thin the six and stay behind the ten. I think she got it on the side, but still a, a tough shot here. Yeah, cue ball's kind of tracking back towards the 10. Could play a big power draw to the angle, but that's a tough shot at that speed in the side. I don't mind her trying to to hide behind the 9 and sending the, the 6 ball up table. Wow, she played a stun follow. It's fine, too. Yeah, that's tougher to control than it looked. Played yeah. it perfectly, though. Yeah. She really made it look easy, but it wasn't. Mast is going to be able to hit this ball. Biggest risk here is that you go all the way around it. She might have to target at one rail, which is not really conducive for the kick safe, but she'll try to get two rails behind it if she can. Yeah, try to kick and stick. 
Yeah, one she, rail yeah. is going to typically leave a shot more often. She's got some distance. But yeah, this one's there for yeah. Hong. She might have put a little bit more of a right English here to to open up from the first rail and go two rails behind the six. Ooh, first miss from Hong. Starting to see the finish line. Yeah. Mine can play tricks on you at that point. Must has an opportunity here to get back into that match. Still work to do though. The eight ball passes both bottom corner pockets, but she'll be good here. Yeah. Just, just decide if she wants to play with all spin or elevate. I don't mind the yeah. all spin shot here. Oh, she had to spin it more. Yeah. Landed good though. Yeah, definitely. She didn't want to get there. She wanted to get on the other side of the seven ball, but st still have a shot here. Try to go all in for it. I mean, she has to make it if she wants to get back into that match. Yeah. You know what actually happened there? We have to see a replay. She caught yeah. the point before the side pocket. Yeah, she hit it too thick, but still the point helped her there. Yeah. Even if, yeah, I guess the only thing that it was right along the rail, so the only thing that could have happened is when she catches the other point and it doesn't go. You can yeah. get high up the rail on that one, but True. nice, nice shot there. But the way it caught the first point, it just made it travel exactly along yeah. the rail. <laughs> Still tough nine ball here. She has to go a, low, a little low, below center, with maybe a touch of right to, touch of left, sorry, to open up. Yeah. Nice shot, very Good missable shot. shot. Yeah. Showing that she's not gonna lay down here. Okay, take a deep breath and make this stand to tie up the match four games to two. got away with it even she was in bad position on the seven ball I mean she played a tough six and then shoots the the seven ball all the way down to the bottom left and the nine ball was also a very missable shot so this Good next job. game is big for both players it's either a three game lead for Hong one away from the hill or becomes a close match yeah she one. felt the pressure on the six ball she though did, yeah Once you make one mistake, kind of more likely to make another one. But just has to regroup mentally in this rack. Sophia's dad there in the background. Yeah, I think it's a, he wore a, a t-shirt with a nickname on, which is the Pink Dagger. Yep. That's great to see the support. Although he's a young girls. Usually, if the if the kids are playing, the fathers or the mothers have played as well. Yeah. Hand down the passion to their children. Yeah, because you kind of you kind of grow with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, when your father and your mother is, is playing, then you you often go to pool rooms, and then you got involved in this environment and. That one with a pretty heavy cut. So didn't get a lot of action out of the rack. Didn't make one. Yeah. A lot of balls on the right side of the table here. Going to be playing safe around that side. On table number two. Indonesian Asako Sitorius Derin is leading 
against Adrian Prasad from the United States. He's on the hill. Oh, now it's 5-4. So pretty much of a close match also into the under-17 division. Tough rack here for Hong. She does have uh, a 3-4 combination available if she's able to get on the two properly. Looks like she's going to be close to getting there. She's actually fallen on an angle where she can play the two into the, the cue ball into the four. Yeah. Which will open up the three directly. She looks really perfect on this. See how she handles the speed of this shot to go right in between the three, four. I think she has the angle to do so. A little worried about it. Might be a little too much angle going to the right. Yeah. Kind of looks like she's okay, though. You, you don't want to be queuing over the four or so. Also. It's okay. It's going to be a little tough to slow the cue ball down here, but she's just thick enough that she'll be able to hold the angle. Yeah. at the three and then stays on the four. Yeah, she's worried about the angle. Yeah. Gotta hit it at a certain speed to get the three to the pocket and then you got a bit of an angle on the shot as well, so it's tough to hold here. Yeah, I mean, it, she just kind of had to put like a half stroke on it and yeah. just lost the potting angle. Got safe though. Small percentage chance to kick it in. A lot of times in this spot, you'd want to go two rails to get the safe. I don't mind going straight at it because you have a chance to make more of a chance to make it if you go straight at it. Yeah. Almost got it. Good yeah. try. I think to make those type of shots, you need to use stun roll you to yes. to take the the five to two system into play. Try to really try to make it. Actually, it's really pretty accurate. It holds the angle better, and, yeah. and the risk of how she hit it too is the cue ball could have followed through the three even if she yeah. made it. Hong's gonna opt for safe here. Big wall on that side of the table. Good shot there. She might have taken the, the jump shot out of the equation here, which is a good point. I mean, she has a line. She's almost hanging in the pocket, so. She's, yeah. she's going to try to kick the three to that angle that she was on at first there. Oh, she's going two rails. Okay. Yeah. Good contact. Yeah. Didn't leave a really direct pot. Likely going to see another save here from Hong, particularly because the position is tough as well. Yeah, anyways, the five ball and the six ball are in a tough position here. Yeah, it's going to so. be a moving rack from here. Trying to drive the cue balls and using the, the six and the eight as blockers, but did she get there? I don't know. Four is tied up now. Yeah. Open, six is open, but now the four is tied. That was a good shot, actually. She, she got away with it. Tough shot to hit, though. She she called the, the three ball on the top right. Yeah, she wants to kick at these type of kicks with more draw going forward. Yeah. Yeah. She got away with it. Yeah. She made a good contact. I mean, she couldn't have done much better than this. More speed and more draw. It just kind of yeah. holds the exact kicking angle a little better. More likely to leave distance as well. Try to create distance. Have to choose the right speed on this type of kicks. Yeah, which she did. Hit half the ball, I mean, nice shot. Yeah, you couldn't have it any better than this, I mean. This is another side rail draw kick. See if she goes draw on this one. Yeah, that's the best, the best choice, I mean. She has to hit it and try to stick. Yeah, she's Using getting in the draw speed. here. Yeah. More speed though. Yeah. 
is left with a tough shot on the top left corner pocket. Drives the cue ball towards the 10, so she has a lot of work to do here. She could play safe also, I don't mind getting the cue ball behind the 6, 5 and 9 using the the blockers and create distance, but she's going definitely for the shot here. Yeah, if the cue ball's not running into the 10, she can get position. Yeah. Nice shot. What a shot wow, there. Wow, great. What an opener from Hong here. Great, I mean. Good quality follow on the cue ball there. Easy to hit the 10, stun off a little bit, but she hit it well. Oh, she cannot breach it. Maybe she's going to take her extension. Yeah, she, she's able to do it. So it's much better than using the bridge for this type of stroke. Great shot here, catching the line of the five on the side pocket. Is the eight past the 10 in the closest pocket? Yeah, it's, it's close, I mean. I'm going to have a look at it. Yeah, I think it does. Even in that case, the 9 is still blocking a lot of the tracks towards yeah. the 8. It does pass. She has it. Mm -hmm. A lot of position on the 7 is going to attract the cue ball to the left anyway, so she might go in the opposite corner. She's yeah. looking there. I mean, if she follows down, moves the cue ball a little more, she can get the... You can stay on the right side of the table as well. Yeah. Two rail follow here. She might have wanted a little bit more angle on that seven ball, but still okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play some speed in this thick hit, playing the two rails as well. Yeah. Getting nice and high on the cue ball here, which you want to do. See, that was... Yeah. It's always possible that nine getting on this thing on that side of the table. That's why I would have kind of favored the other side, or at least try to get more of a natural angle coming down towards yeah. the eight. But, I mean, she hit it well. She actually hit it too well. She followed through yeah. the angle too Absolutely, much. Absolutely, yeah. Still alive here, though. Big jump, big spot in the match. Gonna get safe. Ooh, that's a big roll here. Mast is gonna have to back off on this one. She hit it pretty good though. Yeah. Gotta play Tough the, position. Yeah, just play the eight to the middle of the short rail, try to get the use the nine as a blocker. Yeah. You really have watch to watch out, you're going too close to the corner. Yeah. Here. You really want to protect the the eight ball first, play it as a containing on the center of the, the short rail, and then the, the nine ball as a blocker would be a bonus. I mean, mm -hmm. you really want to protect that eight, which she didn't. I didn't see where she was at on the shot clock there, but it looked like she rushed the execution. Yeah. She might have been like near the end of her shot clock. Yeah, that's true. Long bridge here. Oh, caught it too thick. Another tester here for yeah. Hong. Second, second look at getting on the hill. Just pocketing here. I mean, you got to draw the cue ball a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, choose the right speed to widen the pocket. Also, try to choose the kind of uh, medium speed here to to try to slide. Yep. Kind of stun with a little right. Good didn't, shot didn't here. Get it. Oh. That was a tough one. It's, yeah. a, it's a blind back cut, yeah. but I, the mistake there was hitting the eight too thick. So we have a match now. Actually, she hit it good, but a little more, a little less speed would have been better. I like three rails forward here. Yeah. Nice hit. Especially on the slidey tables. Yeah. It's okay, three rails at the center of the table.
Looks like Hong is going to take her break here. A little bit of rough last two games for her. And we'll take a break as well. Don't get near the end of this one. Don't go away. Waiting for Hong to return here from a quick break. Yeah, and uh, another result from the finals of the under 17 division. Young Indonesian Asaku Sitorius Derin is the new world under 17 10 ball champion. He won 6 4 against Adrian Prezat from the United States. So we have uh, the first world champion crown here in Klagenfurt, Austria. Tournament for Prasad. Yeah, massive win and great experience for the young players. This is really great building the next generations of top players. I was mentioning to George, it's hard to believe, but an, an American junior has never won the World Junior Championships. Can you believe that? Yeah. Once, once a player that doesn't play anymore, Shane Hannon, finished second. Adrian's the second player to finish second. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I mean, on the world stage, you have now so many good players, and it's worldwide, you know, players from Asia. The uh, here it is. <laughs> Texting all his friends. Yeah. And a 17 world junior champion. Cause to be excited and cause for celebration. Good for him. Yeah. So it looks like Hong got a little break. And it's a master break now to try to tie it up the match at four games apiece. Yeah, being stuck 4-1. Back in the match now. Great break there. The cue ball got kicked, but still okay. I mean, she made the one ball on the side. Looks like she has a window to, to cut the two and play safe here. Yeah, I'm gonna be tracking the cue ball off the right side of the table. Ideally, from not really a 
lane between the 5-4, but you'd be kind of trying to get it through there. Yeah. And you also over could just go the behind the 3 as well with the cue ball. Yeah. And maybe she could also overcut the 2 and send it. Or is it a short rail? Yeah, she chose That's a good shot. Yeah. I mean, she's... That's the speed. Yeah, Perfect. That's great. Shot. Yeah. Good control here of the speed and the, the contact on the on the two. She tries to. I think the the point is trying to to clip it two rails, but try to make it and Excited. make the cue ball comes to the side rail, which where she is. Yeah, a lot of open space over on the right side of the table there, so. Kind of tough to get safe, but she will be playing a half ball scenario where the cue ball can travel away from the two. Oh, she hit it one rail. Six going to come to her rescue. It's yeah, I think she got away it with did. it. Yeah. 310 is going to be tough as well. Might just have enough of it here. Play some right spin, throw the cutting angle a little bit. Yeah. It's a pretty thin cut, though. I mean, it's, it's going to be tough for her to reach the three. Had Good enough. shot there. feel like she has to stay offense here. The three should stay around the corner pocket. Tough shot, but kind of forced into it. A great two ball here with a good speed to run into the nine. Wow, great here. How's the 10 going to spot here? It's going to yeah. affect the 8, <coughs> maybe the 5 a little bit. Yeah, but that was a great combo. I mean, she kept great control of the 3 and on the cue ball, so... This is great offensive play here. Combinations are never a gimmies. Yeah, maybe the, maybe the 8 ball is kind of uh, blocked by the 10, the respotted 10. Can use the 5, though, to open it up. She want an angle here to come over to the left side of the table. This can work. She definitely has the angle, but she has to play off the left side, the side rail. I mean, the 5 ball is pretty much she blocked can, by, the, by the 8. She can pocket the 5, though. In the bottom right corner pocket. Yeah. Just wow. To go underneath. Great. That was a great stroke on the four. So if the eight doesn't go in the corner, I think it goes in the side. Spot yeah. The Spotting on the ten here was really gonna matter how the rest of the rack played out. It's tough. It might not go in both pockets. He spotted it very well. He spotted it like pretty much frozen. Yeah, I think she's going to go into the 10 a little bit, yeah, too. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, side. Oh, no, Ooh. okay. You're right, though. She could have gone corner and open up the or yeah. army side and open up the 10. Yeah, she could have. But still, she's <sighs> still at the table, and she might have the right angle on the 7 if she pockets the, the 6 to go right, as you said, playing the, the, the 8 ball on the side pocket. Yeah. If it goes. Nice stroke. Whoa. Got into it a little too much. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, she's looking at the pocketing angle of the eight there. Yeah, maybe she's planning to, to play safe out of the eight, like go straight into the into the eight and play a stop shot and stays behind the ten. There's a chance it goes. Got a little too much speed into this. Yeah. We should be able to play the eight safe in the middle of the short rail. Oh, she's still looking yeah. offense, and the yeah. nine, actually, the way the cue ball's traveling, she can play the nine on the side. So, actually, the eight ball might go. It's tough from here to say, but she's definitely going for it. Oh, it was really close. So tough. Made her way nicely through that round. Yeah. Just barely missed the eight. Yeah. That's a critical one, a crucial one, because the score is 4-3, and then... Yeah, big game. Yeah, big game here. Crucial point. It's 
never easy to have a hanger. Yeah, she hit it too thick. There, but she's going to come out decently as long as the cue wasn't over the 10, which it kind of is. See if she, what kind of queuing she has on this. I think she's okay, but she's watching not to do too much with the cue ball here. Just try to sink the nine ball t and take a long shot on the 10. Kind of half elevated, actually. Yeah. Elevated a lot, actually, but not right over top. Nice shot. Great. I mean, it's never easy to cue above the ball, especially when you're having a long shot like this. Big ball here to go on the hill. Got it. Wow. Got one game away for yeah. Hong. <laughs> you see that emotion on her face? Yeah. This is really tough to stay down and hold your nerves. She kind of a jump up here a little bit, yeah. But she managed to maintain the the accuracy of the stroke here. But I mean, it's tough, you know. There's really a lot of pressure for those girls. Emotions running high, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, we are. They are fighting for a world title here, so you have to play with your heart out. It's great to witness. And Hong is on the hill now. I guess she didn't do much wrong. Mast. She she had a couple of you know tough run outs. She handled it and then Missed the seven, missed the eight. It's just been slight mistakes. Yeah. You know, she's. I felt like she's put her best foot forward, and these are the kind of things that happen in matches sometimes. Both players have been competing as hard as they can. Yeah. Almost made the eight. Almost made the seven. Good Tuesday break, I mean, she hit it uh, with a, a little bit of left English, but still a pretty square hit. Jumped all the way off the ground on that one, put it all in there. Try to release some kind of uh, pressure here. It's mess has to find a good way to push out here. The, the one ball is blocked by the five and the two, so... I don't mind this push. Yeah, but I, I like I like pushes to be frozen on the rails. I mean... Again, yeah, leaving the cue ball on the rail is going to limit yeah. Hong's options or your opponent's options. Yeah, because Hong then here can really cue it like with comfort and she could use any part of the cue ball to, to try to find a way. So she definitely is going to take the, this push out. I mean, when you leave your opponent in the comfort zone, there is... Oops. Oh. There's no way she will give it to you back. Just for example there, Hong had to stun the cue ball between the four or five, but if she was frozen on the rail, she wouldn't have been able to stun it. Yeah. Actually worked out against yeah. her, but she was trying to get the cue ball in between the four or five. Yeah. She hit it too good, actually. Now another opportunity to tie it up for Mast, see if she can go through that rack. Yeah, the three ball is a kind of an issue here. Going to the three, t from the two to the three. I'd still be tempted to take the one on the side. I mean, you have ball in hand. Looks like she's playing safe, though. Good shot. Lock yeah. Locked her up good. Yeah. Just felt like the pocketing angle on the one was a little too sharp, and it probably was. Players that are on the table know what the angle really looks like. Yeah, she's pretty good uh, locked here. Tries to figure out how she's gonna she's gonna hit that one. She don't have that many roots for no, it's a lot of for the one ball. A lot of blockers towards the yeah any kind of track. Yeah, I don't think I tell you what I don't think she she can go two rails. 
it's really a pretty tough hit here. Especially where the six is. Like yeah. You can start playing two or three rails, but the six gets in the way of that track yeah. as well. And you also have the eight, the five, and the four who are really in a bad spot to go two or three rails here. I like this. Yeah, yeah this I mean. tough. Yeah, that was really tough. So and Sophia trapped her up good there. Yeah. Got rewarded. Where's the five going to end up? Blocking the easiest pocket, but she can get over, stay on the right side of the table. Yeah, and she has to keep in mind that her opponent is on two fouls now. Okay. So that could be important to remind as you go through the rack. Maybe she can go like two rails into the three. Yeah, because if you go to the inside of it, then you're going to get a lot of angle on the two, and it's tough to go outside of it. Combo just didn't like the angle going on the coming on at the two on the right side of the table. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, it's a it's a tough combo here, and she is not in good shape with the cue ball to play properly that combo. Maybe she will go for the safe, and she kept in mind that their opponent was on two scratches. Yeah. Did look for the four here. Got the weight right. And that's a great How's shot here. Kicking options here. She can. Yeah, play two rails and kick and stick here to hit the low side of the two and create distance between the balls. This is not quite a difficult hit here. Is the five in the way of the one rail, though? Or yeah, she, I think so. Does she have to go kind of in between the five eight? Does she even have that angle? It's not as easy as it looks. But she, she has five seconds, too. yeah. Maybe no rail as well. There yeah. we go, three fouls. Weird spot. I mean, she like she knows she has to hit it, and then she lost track of the time. Yeah, and the execution got tough at the end too. See how we how she handles it because it's always tough to lose a game and the three fouls, especially when you are young and could be under over your emotions, feeling bad about it. Yeah, been a great set so far. Mast has the break in the tenth game. Yeah. I think she could have gone two rails with a lot of, with a bunch of right spin. I think she no. was trying to. Yeah. Just the first angle was really sharp, so yeah. it's tough to swing the cue ball wide enough. Yeah. Barely caught it. A little less speed, the cue ball would have opened up a little more, yeah. but then you might not have hit a rail. You would have yeah. hit the ball. True. Hit the ball first. <laughs> nice support there. Yeah, someone can tell. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know if that's Sophia's mother, but it looks like a motherly support there. Possibly a good friend. Square hit here. Good break. Ooh. Didn't find a pocket, but. The eight's blocking the side rail too for the kick, and then where do you push on this? Almost, almost like you have to pocket the one. Yeah. And then uh, play a push position on the two. I think I'd be pocketing the one here, just finding a way to play a push where the two is going to be the next ball. Yeah. I guess I saw that happen. I think lot. she got away with it. But may, no, maybe. Oh, rail for Yeah. Okay, a chance for Mass to bring it hill hill here. Yeah, that was a good point from her to give the push out back to Hong. I liked giving it back there. Yeah. <coughs> Hong was in such a tough spot, but I would have thought about pocketing the one. She was in such a bad spot. Nice shot. <laughs> Big drama here in the girls' final. Following that ball, two yeah. rails. 
to catch the line of the three ball on the side. Yeah, she's still on it, but not in as good position as, yeah. as she would have liked. I think she's pretty in a tough spot here. She has to park it in the bottom right. Corner park it and go to the four, which is never easy. Got it. Wow, what a great How's shot that, that was. That was a yeah. shot under pressure. Great shot there. Don't mind the follow here. Don't have to hit as much speed. Yeah, one rail to the center of the table, leaving yourself an angle on the five to reach the six. That's yeah, the problem. Drawing, yeah. yeah, she chooses to go to let the stroke out, but still Make the pocket. The pocket yeah, that's the problem. Didn't miss it by much, but at that speed. And I kind of felt she accelerated a little bit too much on the, on the last follow through. So Hong with her best chance to win the match, pretty much her first chance to win the match here. She has to make sure she's going to the center of the table. She's yeah. got enough angle, gonna have to play a bit of power in this, yeah. just to draw out of it, but decent angle really. I mean, you definitely want to have closer shots when it comes to win the match, you know? Yeah. But still okay. Nice shot. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good stroke. Staying in line well so far. Actually got on the wrong side of the yeah. six here. If she can... St Try to go back and forth on the seven. Get the cue ball as close to where it is yeah. right now actually punch it to the rail too and try to come over more yeah, yeah. she's got a funny angle there where she's always going to get more angle on the seven yeah but still manageable here long shot though but she still has to to play it like a soft stroke and go side side rail to the side rail it's never easy have to use a little bit of a, of a left english here Yeah, she shot. hit it perfect. I mean, that was the shot. And that's the game winner. She just has to hold her nerve from here. <laughs> See it on her face. Yeah. <laughs> she knows it. Try to breathe and stay focused on the present moment. One shot at a time. Stay down on each and every one. Cinch that one, which is okay. shot routine yeah. try to be related to the game and separate from the world and the audience and the, the goal to be a world champion got it so looks like the d defending champion defending champion is going to get the job done again and she she's already been there so she know how it feels great match yeah and Hong is the Defender titles of the girls division in that World Predator World WPA World Championships. And it's she it really showed emotion. emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it is really nice to witness this, and we'll be back this afternoon for the women's final and also the men's headboard final. I'll see you there. See you. See you next time, guys.